What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and layout tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create a viewport in layout that isn't rectangular, that's a different shape that still lets you see into your model. Um, if you're looking for more great layout resources, make sure to check those out at the SketchupEssentials.com slash layout. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna walk into this assuming that you know the basics of working in layout and how everything kind of works from a setting up your viewports standpoint. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an elevation view like this one and then we're gonna create a detail view off to the side um, that uh, is kind of round instead of being rectangular rectangular. So it'll be kind of an enlarged detail. Um, if you're looking for more information or uh, you can want kind of a walkthrough for modeling for layout, um, I will link to my current series that I'm doing on modeling a tiny house for layout. Um, the other thing is you can download this model from the 3D warehouse. This model is called Hungarian House by SZ Kristoff. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, we're gonna send our two viewports that we want over to layout. And so in this case, I have kind of an elevation view um, showing basically the hanging ceiling pieces that I want. And then I also have a perspective view that's giving kind of a 3D view of what those are gonna look like. And so what I wanna do is I wanna send both of those over to layout. So to start out, um, first of all, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna override the style. So I'm gonna change the back of wall settings so that they're the same color as um, or the back side of faces I'm gonna change those so they're the same color as the front side of faces but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this we're gonna export it so to start off I'm gonna update this scene and anytime you make a change you need to update and save in order for layout to see it but what we're gonna do is just we're, we're just gonna go to file we're gonna click the button for send to layout um, and if you already have layout open you can also insert a viewport manually we're just gonna send this directly over to layout and so when you do that layout should open up and so when it opens up the first thing it's gonna ask you for is a template so in this case I'm going to probably just pick my a3 template just for the sake of this um, you may have your own template in here you may want to pick one of the SketchUp ones I'm gonna go ahead and pick mine and that's just gonna bring in an a3 with my title block on it and so when I do this this is gonna pop up in layout and it's gonna look something like this. So there's a couple different things we may want to do with this. Like for example, um, first of all, I'm gonna put this on a different layer that doesn't go on every page. Cause you can see how when I mouse over this or when I click on it, this turns red. This indicates that that's gonna show up on every page. So in this case, I'm just gonna move this to my layer three layer. Um, we're not really gonna talk too much about that in this video, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave the scale as is. So I've got a quarter inch equals one foot. And so you could check the box to preserve scale on resize. And then once you do that, you could move these little corner pieces around until you get the view that you want and that would work fine what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna use what's known as a clipping plane and so a clipping plane is gonna allow me to it's almost like a layer mask in Photoshop in the sense that it's gonna allow me to dictate an area um, and then clip out everything that isn't shown in that area so I'm just gonna start off and I'm gonna tap the R key to activate the rectangle tool I'm just gonna draw a rectangle over the area that I want to show so in this case I'm going to show something like this and then I'm just going to click on my rectangle first then I'm going to do a shift click and I'm going to click on my viewport and I'm going to go up to edit create clipping masks or create clipping mask and you can see what that does is that basically masks out or hides anything that wasn't behind that rectangle and so now this is kind of a good starting point because this is going to be our detail in here and then what I want to do is I want to duplicate this viewport because I want a second viewport that's going to show a different scene. All I'm going to do to do that is I'm just going to hold the control key. I'm just going to drag this up and that's going to create a new viewport up here. And on this one, um, right now this viewport, we created a copy. It has that clipping plane on it. So we're just going to click on that and go to edit. We're going to click on release clipping mask because for that one, I'm going to mask it out a little bit differently. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to go find my scene, 
and I should have labeled these different, um, but my scene five is gonna be my perspective view showing that ceiling. So you can see how that scene five is gonna show what that ceiling is gonna look like. We can't do a scale because this is a perspective view, and so scale doesn't really work with perspective views. So what that means is we don't have to have this box for preserve scale on resize checked because it doesn't matter because there is no scale. Well now we can use this to kind of resize this viewport a little bit. So like you can see how I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And now what I wanna do is I wanna create a second clipping mask. And so when I create a second clipping mask, what I wanna do is I wanna draw a circle that's kind of centered on that ceiling piece. And you can see how with this viewport, that's a little bit weird getting it to fit inside the circle. So um, it's a little bit odd but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this anyway. So I'm just gonna draw a circle over the top of it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a shift click on my viewport and then I'm just gonna add this clipping mask. And so what this does is this allows me to create this circular viewpoint up here. And then I can kind of resize this however I want. I can hold the shift key in order to uh, in order to resize this um, uniformly, so without adjusting the proportions of the scene or anything like that, then I can just kind of drag this wherever I want inside my view. So what we can do now is we've got this kind of circular shape in here, and if we want to, you could go around and you could turn on stroke on the outside by going into your shape style and clicking stroke. What that'll do is that'll add a line around the outside. You definitely don't have to do that, but you can. And so the other thing I might do for this example is I might draw a circle over here and I might turn the fill off so that I just have the lines. I might make the line a little bit thicker, maybe like a one point or maybe even thicker than that. Maybe a two point there. We'll do a two point here. And then I can just draw a line and kind of snap that on the edge of the circle. And then I'll just select both of these lines. I'll go in here and I'll change the stroke on those to two as well. And there you go. So you can see how you can use this method in order to create a circular viewport inside of layout. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you liking these layout tutorials? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.